What is up, guys? I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. My name is Homebred Pac-Man, and welcome back to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us. Last time around, we finally found out whether or not that snow was a fake or not. And, uh, well... This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after- Is that Jack Corner? Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk? Jack from Jack and Jill? Who is it? Hello, everybody. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This is gonna end well. This'll do. I wouldn't suggest that, buddy. I really, really wouldn't. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. Oh, buddy. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I'm fine. Remove your arm. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Alright. Just give us a second first. For what? I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Jack. Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between you. Oh, please, keep talking. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care I'm which. gonna stay silent. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. Yes. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Ooh. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. I'm not gonna stop him. Actually, have there been any updates <sighs> on my sister? Holly, your sister's dead. She's the one we found early this morning. I wasn't gonna beat around the bush. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Jack, shut up. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been. She is pissed. All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. I'm just gonna talk. She's gonna kill me. Oh, she's gonna kill me. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Hey. hey. It's kind of harsh, man. 
We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare. And very old. Just staying out of it. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yeah. We're not causing any trouble. We're not going to start a fight. We're just here to talk. That's it. Jack, get the fuck out. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Uh, did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. So, might want to check there. She was hooking to pay down debt. Makes sense. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Pudding and pie? The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Force you to pay more than you make, huh? Holly, it, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. Okay. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> really? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? No. To move? No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Uh -huh. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. We'll do what we can. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. Yeah. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Yeah, of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations. All right? There we go. There's a smile. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out. Dragon the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm getting better. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. I'm actually proud of that. I did a good job. Oh, that's where I broke Gren. <laughs> oh, I still could have ripped that fucker's arm off. I kind of regret not doing it. Ah, well. The decisions you never make are the ones you regret the most. You know, unless they're the stupid decisions. <clears throat> Alright, so. Put in pie. Put in pie. That name Georgie just sounds familiar. I don't I don't know what fable it is. Is the only problem I have with these games from Telltale, when they load up a scene like this, it always lags for a little bit. Like, it's not fully loaded. Alright, so, hotel, cash. Put in pie! The Bronx! And uh, who might you be, little lady? Wait, you got this. She's got the same ribbon as Faith. Hey, Chinese box. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Then how do you know me? You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for George. Yep. Straight to business this time, then. Uh. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. She seemed pissed, and why were there male dancers there? I, I should warn you that 
Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. Neither do I. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I have a way with It'll people. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. Yep. Let's do this. Ja 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 Georgie. George, oh Georgie. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. George, George, George of the jungle, he cannot beat me. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Seriously enough. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Ooh. Your desires are our desires. Wow, that wasn't Your scripted. imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Seriously, this is some kind of spell. Ow! Well, that was an ear blast. Okay. For fuck's sake. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. Huh. Good luck. Well, I suddenly regret doing this. Your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to. Thank you. What the fuck? Get your hand off my shit. Hello. Oh, it's you. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. I hope that girl doesn't keep popping up because I apparently now have to add a sensor bar for the what time do you being. Want, then? You here for a little taste? Damn it. Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. <laughs> you... Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You could probably hook me up, but you I'm going to fuck you up. and take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Uh -huh. Look. I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you dap git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. Black market, black magic. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. <laughs> and we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, please. Anyway, Keep antagonizing now me. to do with me. Go on, then. Ah, damn it. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Nice job. Oh no, fuck! You did it. <laughs> Yo! 
take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. This bloody bastard. Stop showing the tatas. You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? You did it. Fuck's sake. Hello. Fuck off, Hans. Hans. Wait, Hans, as in Hansel? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. No, you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Huh. Why not look it up? What's that? Ooh. Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? A fucking moron. No, he's a genius, because he told there me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. I would recommend that. Hey, that's my personal property. Yes, and now it's mine. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell you what, buddy. Three strikes and you're out. Tell me what I want to know. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hmm. Hey, now. Let's strike one. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. That's two. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. That's strike three. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Is it over while you still There's can... still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Hey! What's that? Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get you it. You notice how I haven't wrecked anything? Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Then tell me what I need to know. Oh, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'll destroy this place. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Didn't have to break a thing. All I had to do was threaten. Bloody come on, then. All right, then, let's go. Break. Hey, I didn't break a damn thing. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Hey, Georgies. Huh, you figure it'd be a little black book. Alright, what do we got? Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Lily is oh, Snow dear. White. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Thank you. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. But you obviously know. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. Mm -hmm. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, 
Take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. On what? On the stuff I didn't break? For the stuff that... Mm... Hello? Business office. Hello? Business office. Is that something right there? Yeah, that's right. Come on. Go to the stage. Nothing. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. You want to talk to the deputy mayor? Go for the door. Go for the door. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? You obviously know something because you have it logged into the book as Lily as Snow White. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. So Lily sent her? That jibes with what the woodsman told me. So Lily did send Faith. Cosmetics. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. And some change. Uh, what about... Oh, right, there's lilies. And uh, what's this? It's Fates. Wait. It looks like it was broken into. Lock's been busted open. That one, too. They were broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Well, let's check this one more time. Is there... Faith. So, is that it? Nothing else to examine? I guess that's it then, huh? Excuse me. I heard you out there. And who might you be? I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. <laughs> I guess we're all surprised. <sighs> You're trying to place me. Yep. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Are you Ariel? Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Ugh. I'm sorry. My name is Nerissa. Nerissa? Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Okay. <sighs> 207. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number. But where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Come on. These lips. This is some kind of spell. Or a curse. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? An appointment? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Uh. Hey. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... There's some change over there. Are you about... You're gonna spot me? Wait here for a second. Uh... 
Okay. What's about to happen here? You just paid him. Thank you. Not 207? You'll think of something. Yep, probably. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. So do I, Narissa, so do I. Ay, ay, ay. There's a cop. Whoa, Nettie. Had a good time in there? I hope so. Okay, so. This is going to be the way to go, huh? Yeah, I think now's a good time. Alright. And... Okay. Before this heads off any further, we're going to end it right here for the time being, guys. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me whether or not you agree with my choices. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the Homebred Pack family today because I would be ever so grateful for that. I hope all of you have a wonderful day and I look very much forward to seeing you guys next time around when we get more to the bottom of this. So guys, hope to see you next time around. This is Homebred Pac-Man, signing off.